what is a retinal tear? The eye is like a camera with lenses at the front and a photographic film at the back. And between the two, in, a, in the body of the camera, is a clear jelly called vitreous that occupies the vitreous cavity. In youth and in early middle age, the jelly is jelly-like, but with the passage of time, the jelly becomes watery in places and eventually a sufficient watery component within the jelly forms whereby the remaining jelly pulls away from the back wall of the eye. This event is sometimes called a posterior vitreous separation and occurs in most people usually over the age of 55 to 60. In some people, uh, and these are mainly people who are short-sighted and have larger eyes, as the jelly pulls away from the back wall of the eye, it can be abnormally adherent to patches of the retina and does not want to let go of the retina. As a result, the jelly tugs on the retina and tugging on the retina creates a flashing light sensation, very similar to when you press on your eye through your closed lid, which can also create a flashing light sensation. So a sudden onset of flashing lights can be associated with the jelly tugging on the retina. If the jelly is very stuck to the retina and pulls very hard, uh, eventually what can happen is the retina can tear. And when the retina tears, there is often a sudden onset of floaters within the field of vision due to either pigment or blood going into the main eye cavity if a blood vessel ruptures as the retina tears. Anyone with sudden onset of a shower of floaters with flashing lights, especially if you're short-sighted, uh, should have a diagnosis of a retinal tear excluded uh, with a degree of urgency. If a retinal tear goes undiagnosed, the watery component of the jelly gets through the retina uh, and underneath, through the tear and underneath the retina, and the retina starts detaching from the back wall of the eye and away from its blood supply. When it becomes away from its blood supply, it no longer functions and a shadow develops in your field of vision. This shadow is usually starting in your peripheral vision and moves slowly towards the centre as the retina progresses to detach. Again, if this is caught at an early stage where the central part of the retina or macula has not yet been affected, a surgical procedure to put the retina back into position can be performed with a good visual outcome. If left untreated and the central retina or macula detaches, then the prognosis for vision following successful reattachment to the retina is more guarded. It is therefore very important to catch retinal tears at an early stage, and if caught early, it re merely requires an outpatient procedure to surround the tear with some laser to spot weld it in place to stop the uh, retina from subsequently detaching. Mm -hmm.